Hey pretties, it's Keisha. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys all about how I lightened my underarms, the products and techniques that I use. For quite some time, I was dealing with really dark, hyperpigmented underarms and just thought it was something I was going to have to do until I just got really proactive in finding a solution. So if you're dealing with a similar issue, I really hope you find this video helpful. So the first step for me was changing my hair removal process. I really had to ditch the razor. Razors for me were basically the source of all the issues and hyperpigmentation and just causing a lot of irritation and itch, ingrown hairs, razor burn, nicks, you name it. And since shaving really only removes the hair at the surface level, it just sits underneath the skin after a shave, creating a shadow and making the underarm appear darker. With laser hair removal, the laser actually damages the hair follicles, causing the hair to fall out right at the root, putting an end to that shadow. That damage can also prevent hair from growing back, so it can create permanent hair removal with several treatments. I only did one round though, which was about seven to eight treatments in one year, and I actually have some small patches where hair has not grown back even a year later, but I found the main benefit that that one round of laser gave me was basically like creating a reset button. My hair returned to the fine soft hairs that you have similar to when you first began to grow hair under your arms. So the hair that does grow back is no longer thick and coarse from years of shaving. Also, no more ingrowns or irritation or itch like you get when the prickly sharp razor cut hair grows back. So now my go-to hair removal is sugar waxing made of three simple natural ingredients making it super quick and gentle on the skin. No irritation, itch, or razor burn. I just start on clean, dry skin and since the wax only attaches to hair and dead skin cells, it's a wonderful exfoliant leaving the skin unbelievably smooth and hair free. You'll get much longer lasting results because the hair is removed from the root so it takes a while before seeing hair growth again. So I wax about every three weeks, takes about 10 minutes out the day. You can literally see the bulb on the ends indicating the entire length of the hair has been completely removed. So no shadow, no shaving every two to three days, just smooth skin and longer lasting results. So if you try nothing else from this video, just make sure you try this. Exfoliate, exfoliate, exfoliate. I think exfoliation is the absolute key to getting rid of hyperpigmentation no matter what area on your body you're working on. Dry brushing with my spin brush for me is the quickest, easiest, most effective way to get a really strong physical exfoliation and consistent exfoliating will peel away that dead layer of skin containing the dark pigment and dead skin cell buildup. And once it's lifted, you will reveal that brand new skin underneath that hasn't been damaged or thickened or toughened up from things like shaving or harsh hair removal creams. So definitely make regular exfoliating a part of your routine if you're looking to see results. So your shower routine is super important as well because you get a daily exfoliation so it's really important to pair this time with the right products that will also help in lightening the skin. So first I will apply coconut oil to my skin before my shower. This just keeps my skin super soft and moisturized especially through all the soap and the scrubbing. I use my spin brush and African Black Soap by Shea Moisture. African Black Soap is known for fading dark marks and discoloration and I use it both on my entire body as well as my underarms. Also, once a week I will use my Mario Badescu Glycolic Foaming Cleanser. I use this in my skincare routine on my face as well. And since it contains glycolic acid, I love using it on my underarms to get all the exfoliation benefits that glycolic acid provides. I'll let this sit for two or three minutes before rinsing it off. And since glycolic acid breaks down those connective fibers between skin cells, it allows the skin to peel much easier. So it's a great mini chemical peel to help remove that dark layer of skin. But since it is a chemical exfoliant, you definitely want to use it sparingly. So I find once a week to be a good balance. 
I definitely had to make the switch to an aluminum free deodorant if you're having issues with hyperpigmentation. It could definitely be linked to your antiperspirant, most of which contain aluminum, which interacts with the normal bacteria that live under our arms, causing discoloration. And I love this lavalin deodorant because it dries clear and keeps odor away for 72 hours. However, if you do make the switch to deodorant from an antiperspirant, keep in mind that unfortunately it doesn't prevent sweating, but it will keep odor away and leave you smelling fresh. So this is another hand-me-down from my skincare routine for my face. Just a great way to take advantage of all the benefits for the skin and that is my bentonite clay mask. This mask is perfect for detoxifying the skin and just drawing out all of those impurities and toxins from the skin. And since the underarms are one of those places on the body where the body gets rid of waste and toxins, this is just such a great way to assist and boost that process and just pull out all of those odor causing bacteria and other nasties and a great way to keep those underarms nice and fresh. So basically whenever I prepare this mask for my face, I just apply a thin layer of the leftovers to my underarms. So in addition to detoxifying the skin, the texture of this mask acts as a great exfoliant as well. So it's kind of a nice mini scrub for the underarms and as I mentioned before, exfoliating is really great at peeling away that layer of dark skin, but it's also great for getting rid of ingrown hairs, making sure that hair is not trapped underneath layers of dead skin cell buildup as it's trying to grow out and surface. So after the mask, I will go ahead and moisturize my skin with coconut oil and I think typically it's just an area that we forget to moisturize but it's so necessary because tough, dry skin can contribute to a darker appearance and it's more rigid and difficult for hair to grow through. So moisturized skin is just another great way to prevent ingrown hairs. And since coconut oil is antibacterial, it will keep that odor causing bacteria away, acting as a natural deodorant as well. So moisturizing is definitely a triple threat when it comes to combating hyperpigmentation and has allowed me to see so much progress. I really hope you guys found any of these tips helpful and I will see you in my very next video. Bye, pretties.